Hi guys, the next Coolify service that we're going to be self-hosting is called ListMonk. ListMonk is a self-hosted newsletter and mail list manager. After the end of this video, you will have a self-hosted ListMonk instance that looks like this. You will be able to create lists, manage your subscribers, and create campaigns. So let me show you how to self-host it. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into Coolify, and in the Projects tab, we're going to click Add. And then we're going to call our project list monk. You can call it anything you want, obviously. Select the production environment and click add a new resource. And then search for list monk. Select the server where you're going to be self hosting it on. And now we are almost done. The last thing we're going to do is we're going to change the URL to make it shorter. And I'm going to copy this section. Hit save, and now we're ready to self-host it. So let's go ahead and hit deploy. Our container for ListMonk has started. So let's go ahead, close that window, and our service is healthy. So now we can open it up in a new tab. And there we go, we are almost done. We just need to click login, and we're gonna be redirected to create our first admin user. So I'm gonna create him now. And now we're done. We have our list monk app and it's been loaded with some dummy data, which you will be able to see here. We've got two lists, two subscribers and one campaign. So this is neat because it helps us see the features of the application without having to mess around ourselves. So you have lists. Lists are basically a group of subscribers and you have public and private lists. You also can view your public subscription page by going to the forms tab and opening up your link here. And you will see that it opened it up in a local host URL. And so let's change that. Go into your settings and hit settings here. And in your root URL, use the URL right here without the port because it's already mapped to the port 9000. So hit save. Now if we go back to our lists, to the forms tab, you can see the link has been updated. So let's open that up. And here is our subscription page. And uh, same thing for our mailing list archive. You would not be able to access that if you had not updated your URL as well. So that's going to be it for this tutorial. ListMonk is very simple to use. For me personally, I think it's lacking one crucial feature, which is an API integration or some sort of a webhook integration so that I can automatically send people to lists or automatically add subscribers. So maybe there's some way of doing it, but I haven't found it just yet. This is a, a way to upload it as a CSV, which works. But um, if I were to use this for real, I wouldn't want to use a CSV. I'd rather it to be automatic through some sort of, of a API call or webhook. So that's going to be it for this video. Uh, we have self-hosted ListMonk successfully, and it's painless. So with that, I will see you in the next video.